Hey guys, this is Redhead Goes Healthy and welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, I am in a hotel right now. I'm actually just traveling. I'm on my way back from a road trip uh, to the middle of the country. And I'm on my way back to the East Coast. Um, I kind of just wanted to make an update video. It's not going to be fancy. It's not going to be really edited that well, but I don't think that you guys care. So I'm going to stop mentioning that. Um, I, I have been struggling. I've been struggling with the idea of putting myself out there. I've been struggling because I have been stressed out with work and I have gained some more pandemic weight. Now I know that a lot of us have struggled this last year and I know that this community is not really about judging and it's not really about judgment, um, but I still feel bad. I still feel like that sense of guilt that I was on this trajectory, I was doing so well, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I gained 15 pounds. So I have been trying to tackle this weight gain ever since April. So I, I noticed it in April, I was feeling like, oh wow, like you are, you, you're, you're getting up there and I'm noticing things like it's harder, it was harder to bend, it was harder to just get up out of the couch. And that was, that was a first for me. So when I started to notice that, I, I thought to myself that I, I've got to do something, I have to change what I'm doing and I, I, I thought I, I don't want to do another diet. I don't want to even try keto again. I want to continue to do that balanced approach that I was uh, talking about in some of my old videos. But I feel like it's been so long since I've posted a video that I, I kind of just want to start over, like start from scratch, maybe even title this week one. Um, I am on my way back and, and I'll get a scale there, but before leaving for this little trip, I had successfully lost four pounds of the 15 that I've gained. And the way I've been doing it is very, very rational, very balanced approach, just making sure that I'm hitting a calorie deficit each day. And each day that, that can look different. I can have a calorie deficit of 200 calories one day. Meanwhile, maybe the next day I have a calorie deficit of 1500. So what I like about this approach is that every day is just, it's based on the day. It's based on what I'm doing. One of the things that I'm committed to is uh, hitting my, my move goal every single day. So I've got it set to 600 calories and my goal has been to hit that goal every single day. And so far I'm at, I get these notifications all the time. Uh, every day. Uh, I, I've hit my move goal consistently consistently for the last 122 days. So that means that I know that I've been tracking my calories for the last 122 days. So what I'm going to do for you guys is I promised that I would put this video out this Friday. So I wanted to make sure that I you know, did that. So this is that video. It's, it's like I said, it's not glamorous. It's not going to be like, wow, look at all these edits and stuff like that. I am going to um, do an official weigh-in video next week. So I will say that the last weigh-in that I did before I left for the vacation was um, I was at one, <sighs> it's just embarrassing to say because the last time you guys saw me, I was, you know, so much lighter, but the scale is what the scale is. And I still need to be proud of the fact that I had lost four pounds, but my weight was 178. Yeah, I I just, it really kills me because I seeing, so I started off as, uh, I think it was like 183, 184, like going between those things. Um, so technically speaking, it's like four to six pounds, but because I'm doing the long haul thing, I, my weight will fluctuate. It's just, that's just the way my body is. That's just the way it is. So I'm not super concerned about that, but it's tough. It's, and for those of you who have been on a weight loss journey yourselves, it's so hard to lose weight or try to lose weight after after gaining weight from when you lost weight before. So it's like you're always just getting back up on that horse and it's always just like, what am I doing? Why am I doing this again? This is just this vicious cycle and I hate it. But I am 
trying to remain positive and I really am trying to think of this as a sort of long-term project, a lifestyle change, because how I gain the weight was by losing track of the calories. It's by basically eating more than I'm burning or eat, you know, eating more carbs than I'm burning, however you want to kind of spin that. I still think calories are king. I really do. And, and it just creeps up on you it crept up on me and so the only way to deal with it is to slowly and gradually lose the weight and that means i may not lose 20 to 30 pounds for like a year you know what i mean so, so if i've been doing this since april technically that means you know april may june july so let's say like roughly three three months three and a half months of consistently hitting a deficit um overall and my total weight loss is four to six pounds. You know, that's not a lot. People are losing four to six pounds every week. And I have to keep reminding myself that I'm not gonna see the changes until I get to a point where I've lost 20 to 30 pounds, but that's not gonna happen for like a year. And I need to be okay with that. I really, really would like to be okay with that because I want this to be a permanent part of my life, you know? and. I, I, yeah, I, I just want it to be permanent. Um, and the final thing that I will do um, a better update on, back in April, I decided to buy a Peloton. So to, it's so, it makes it life so much easier to hit that move goal. It makes it easier to just, I just get out of bed and work out. And it's, it's, it is a workout. And for those of you who have a stationary bike and have the Peloton app, it is, I'm, totally totally on board with peloton so i actually hit 100 rides uh last last month and they sent me a, a free t-shirt so i just i love the community it's it, there's so many different options there's so many different rides it's uh it's really awesome so i will i will if you're interested i will give a little peloton uh like more official update on on what that is especially if you're considering purchasing something like that uh there's lots of ways to pay for it I should say like yes I'll be paying for it for the rest of my life <laughs> but um it's very very much worth it so I think that's it I'm not going to even bother editing this like I said I just wanted to get my face back out there uh, I hope that everyone is doing well it's I have not I'll be honest I've not been keeping up with everyone else's journeys so um, my, one of my goals is to kind of click on different profile so if you leave a comment um i'll definitely go to your profile uh your youtube profile check it out leave you a comment as well return the favor um all right well i uh, hope you all have a wonderful wonderful rest of your week and i will uh see you next week uh as well right bye